Hello, here is the writing lesson. So this is for the whole week, so we'll just start it. But it's the Wonders, Language, Arts, Independent Writing and Grammar, Unit 6, Week 1. So, writing checklist. This is very important. So students, when you write something, you got to go through and make sure you met all the parts. So first, it says, my sentences have a verb and a noun. I can't just say my cat uh, black, my cat, cat black. Uh-oh. Well, I have a noun, right? My cat, cat. Uh, I even have an adjective, black. But I don't have to have an adjective to have a sentence. I could say my cat runs. I have a noun, cat, and a verb, runs. So to make it an actual sentence, it has to have a noun and a verb. Uh, what else? My words are spelled correctly. Very important. If you want your readers to know what you're talking about, we have to spell words correctly. And so we're working really hard on that. Then also, um, your sentences start with a capital. It's easy to forget, but when you write, make sure there's a capital after every period to start your sentence. Also, your sentences end with a punctuation mark. They can't just be floating out there. They have to have a period, an exclamation mark, or a question mark to let readers know how to read your sentence. And then um, also your lists are separated by commas. So if you say, my cat likes milk, comma, fish, comma, water, comma, kibble, and cheese, period. They have to have the comma. And then lastly, your other punctuation is used correctly. So we started doing talking quotes. We'll go more into that. All right. So next, editing marks. These are so important. Usually when I or a peer looks over, then instead of when you have something written, it's really hard to write in between the sentences. Oh, you have to write a capital. So this is the universal like, if this is underneath the letter, that means it's uppercase, make it capital. If this is there, it's add this in there. If this swirly thing is there, it means take that out, it's too much. Okay, punctuation. This is in every packet, have you noticed? It's so important, you gotta have a period, you have to have an exclamation mark, but that's when you really wanna make a point or make your reader go up in their voice. But not just up, it has to be like an excitement. Like, I like chocolate! Instead of a period, I like chocolate. Or a question, I like chocolate? So the question, your voice goes up, it signals to the reader. Um, but that's for a inquiry. Like, do you like chocolate? A comma is to separate an, a list. Do you like white chocolate, comma, dark chocolate? and milk chocolate, and then there's an apostrophe. That's two, so the apostrophe is used when showing ownership. So say it's Tim's chocolate. We can't take Tim's chocolate because he loves it. So I'm gonna write the name Tim with apostrophe chocolate. That's how we would show that that's Tim's chocolate. Tim, T-I-M, apostrophe S, chocolate. That lets you know that's Tim's chocolate. And then lastly, quotation marks are used at the beginning and end of a phrase. It shows exactly what someone said. Example, Bill said, please pass the butter. All right, that may seem really short, but we're, we're just going to stop there and here's why. I want you to get out your speckled black and white journal and then turn to a blank page. I'm going to go down um, on the same page I was doing, but write writing and kind of box that. Okay, and you're going to write period. Then you're going to write X shun. It's on your packet, so just copy. Then you'll write question. 
and then you'll write comma like so I have writing period exclamation question comma it seems silly but we need to practice writing it because if you don't know yet well then you wouldn't know so for period I'm gonna practice doing a dot right above the line that is a good period it's a circle and it's very visible it's not light I made sure I wrote dark I'm gonna do another one and another one and another one I'm just gonna practice writing those periods yep they all look the same they look good that's signaling that's the end of that sentence now next that might be a little harder exclamation mark you want to do it um, up and down and then the period a line period a line period and that will let your reader know to read with that extra expression of excitement and a higher louder voice exclamation next I'm gonna do a question mark so think of like a little backwards C and then a line and a little space for the period the dot backwards C line period backwards C down line period and you will get a really nice looking comma or uh, sorry question this will take some time really work on it make it really nice and really neat you're gonna show me later and I'm excited we're working on that neatness hey okay, comma you're gonna start like a period in between the lines and then do like a tail and that's a comma so it has to kind of have that period and then a little comma a little swift little yeah down and around and I'm working on my commas you do it too do it with me take your time you can pause this video at any time and then I have all my commas and that's all I want you to do for today with the writing packet because it's for the week and you are also writing me a paragraph of what your favorite food is and, wh and why what you like to eat and why and I want you to focus on your periods maybe you're gonna write uh, quotations talking marks maybe you're gonna have comma maybe you're gonna say I can't decide Miss Harper my favorite foods are pizza comma spaghetti comma hamburgers and fries period so like practice that we really want to become experts in using the right punctuation making it neat and um, descriptive so yeah I look forward to seeing that